Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Survival Horror Game series. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our inventory system. Now, if you want to get up to date with the series so far, see what we've created and get your project to a point where we are, I advise you go ahead and check out the previous video of the Survival Horror Game series. Also, if you haven't watched the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series, I also advise you go ahead and check that out so you can easily follow along and understand. Anyway, so in the previous video we set up the UI side of our inventory system and we also created some basic little slots inside of the third person character. Now what I want to do today is I want to show you how you can actually begin to fill those slots, how to create a pickup item and then add it into a slot in the inventory so that we can actually start displaying it on the screen. So if you take a quick look at uh, my viewport here, you can see I've just got a bunch of empty white boxes in my inventory bar at the bottom. What I want to do today is simply pick up an item and then get it to, you know, fill the bar based, uh, with a different color based on the object that we, you know, the object that we've picked up. Now we will be going on later on how we can actually change to, uh, change it to an image. So if you wanted to, you could change it to an image of a key or some logs or a tinder box or anything like that really. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive in and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little pickup object. Now you don't need to do anything too crazy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give all of these items um, an ID before I actually start. So what I want to do first before I create my pickup item, sorry, is I'm going to create a little list of some different items that I'm going to have in the game. So for example, and I need to have a list of all the items and I also need to give them an ID number. So for now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have an empty ID number at zero, wood, key and tinder box. And you can see I've got the name of the item, the ID, and then I've just got a different color. Now, like I said, later on, we will be changing it to an image for each of this different, uh, these different items. But for now, this is just fine. If you want to download this document, you can download it in the uh, download link in the description. Uh, but for you, if you wanted to, you can create your own list. Just make sure you, you know, set it up all properly in the blueprints. Anyway, so I've got my list here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply create a little pickup item for some wood. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you exactly how we can do this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new blueprint class. And as the type, I'm just going to make this an actor. And what I'm going to do is wood, uh, wood invent pickup. And that's what I'm going to call it. And now inside of this, we've got to do a few things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a box collision. Now this is just going to pretty much help us uh, set up like colliding and set up an event for when the player actually collides with the box he'll pick it up it will disappear and it'll be added into the inventory so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and I'm just gonna quickly see whether or not this is actually big enough and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna drag it into the scene and I've got it just like here just here now if I wanted to I could go ahead and you know add in a mesh and stuff for that it's entirely up to you um, but I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do it just so that I can actually, you know, have a visual representation of the object. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly import some files for the logs straight into my scene. I've got them here somewhere. My desktop is incredibly, uh, you know, badly organized. I'm going to try and find it. If I can't find it, I will just give up. Here we are. So I'm just going to uh, chuck these in here just like that import all and now I'm also going to add a static mesh component real quick so add static mesh and we're just going to chuck it into the scene and with these logs selected I'm just going to make this the little pickup item and it looks quite nice that's perfect I'm going to scale it up a little bit now you can use whatever item you want really it's entirely up to you but for me this should work perfectly fine just I just wanted to have a visual representation. Um, I'm also going to be putting the download link in the description for the little logs file as well. But now we've got a little pickup asset. Now let's start working on the functionality showing you how to actually add it, you know, into the inventory system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the begin overlap stuff. Uh, so I'm going to grab a reference to this and on, uh, on begin overlap. I'm going to go and do some stuff. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast to the third person character. Now the reason why I'm casting to the third person character is because that's where we've stored our slot and our inventory system. So I need to be able to reference it and you know make changes to it. So once again, uh, get I'm go in the object wildcard. I'm going to go ahead and put get player character in there as well. So now we've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook fire off some branches. We're just going to run some checks to see whether or not the slots are actually empty so we can actually put the item in there. So we're going to do five slots. We're going to uh, five checks. We're going to check once for the first slot, the second slot, the third slot, the fourth slot, and the fifth slot. So what I'm going to do is get slot one item. And we're just going to see whether or not it's equal to zero. Now that's our way of checking whether or not it's empty. Because if you remember in this document, empty is going to be zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this condition off and we're going to get a integer is equal to. So if it's equal to zero, you know, we're going to put the stuff in here. If not, it's going to go to false and we'll keep doing the check for slot two, slot three, slot, slot four, and so on and so forth. So if that's true, what I'm going to do is, uh, so if it is true, if it is empty, we're just going to do some basic stuff. So what we're going to do is set slot one item and we're just going to change it to this pickup. So because we're working with logs and our logs, our wood is, you know, ID one in here, we're just going to change the slot ID item number to one. And there we go. I'm just going to hook it up just like that. Now, we're going to have to run another check if, you know, number one's not true. We're just trying to find out exactly which slot it needs to go into here. But for now, let's just go ahead and test this out and see what works. Also, one thing we need to do is we need to destroy the actor uh, once it's been added to the inventory. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to compile, press play, and I need to make sure I've actually got the object in my scene. So where is it? Is this it? Now that's objective change, wood inventory item pickup. Here you are, press play. Let's go ahead and collect this. And it should disappear when you collide with it. That's great. But we haven't actually set up our stuff to actually change image or change color based on, you know, what's in the inventory. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. So for now, I'm just going to show you how to set it up for the first slot. And then you can figure out how to do it with the second slot, third slot, fourth slot, and fifth slot. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to open up my blueprint widget for my heads up display because that's where we've got all of the graphical data. So I'm going to go ahead and grab over this brush here and we're going to make a binding for the appearance. And what this binding is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to switch the physical appearance of this little image based on an integer. And that integer is going to be the slot item and we're just going to change it on the ID. So for example, if it's wood, it's going to be one color. If it's a key, it's going to be another color and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to create the binding here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a quick cast to the third person character. Now, once again, the reason why I'm casting to the third person character is because it actually stores all of our inventory stuff. So I'm going to make sure I do that. So get player character. There you are. And as third person character, we're just going to get a slot one item. Now, the reason why I'm working with slot one item is because it's the first slot in our inventory system. Once we're doing the image for this one, uh, the binding for this one, it'd be slot two, slot three, slot four, slot five. You can pretty much copy and paste everything, just change the uh, variable for this. So now what we need to do is we need to switch on int. So I need to hook this up to here just so it fires off the switch on int stuff. And what I'm going to do now is if it's zero, we need to make sure that we set the color to white. If it's uh, one, it's going to change it to the color for wood, which is going to be blue and so on. So I'm going to create two pins for now, zero and one. So the way we're going to change the color for this is we're going to get a reference to the image. And in this case, it's image 116. It might be different for you. If you want to check, just go ahead and click the image. And then just go to the details up here. You might want to change this uh, such as inventory one. 
might make it a little bit easier to do and you can, you can see it'll change in the blueprint as well anyway what we need to do here is we need to set render uh, not transform set brush set brush and what this should allow us to do is it should hopefully allow us to change the color I'm trying to remember the exact uh, you know thing that is that it is to change the color so I'm gonna quickly go through these what have we got set color and opacity that will be it and then we can just choose white for zero and we'll go ahead and do this and hook that up there and then we're gonna do the same thing for number one as well and the color is gonna be blue if I remember correctly so let's go ahead and do that so control C control V just gonna duplicate it make sure that you always have the re return node at the end of this as well and here we are let's go ahead and change this to blue so now hopefully if everything works okay so I can see there's a few errors here um, we need to do a few things so the first thing we need to do is you know it doesn't end the execution path doesn't end with a return node that's because I haven't added added one to cast failed cast failed is just whenever it can't communicate with the um, when it can't communicate with whatever you're trying to cast to in this case that would be the third person character and we're also going to have to do something for the default pin over here just hook it up to I'm going to just hook it up to this for now and then if we compile all errors should be solved and let's go ahead and pick up this item and see if it changes the color of our slot one so it's now changed to blue and if we were to discard the item set the ID back to zero it would go back to white but that's pretty much the basics for our inventory system hopefully you can start to see it coming together over the next few videos we're going to show you how to discard items we're going to have a separate little screen for that so the player can you know click an item and then throw it away and then you can pick it up again and so on and we also need to show you how to change the image rather than just the color um, but before we do that i need to do a bunch of photoshop stuff to actually start setting up the little thumbnail images um, when I have done all of that, it's going to be available in the download link in the description. I'm just going to quickly show you the Photoshop document so you can see exactly where we are and the type of thumbnail images that I'm talking about. So just give it a second to load, shouldn't take any more than a few seconds. While you're waiting, feel free to smash that like button, hit subscribe and share it with your friends. Okay, so it's all open, it's on my other screen, let me just drag it over, give me a second and here you are there you are and these are the kind of images that I'm talking about the actual images of the item that you're trying to pick up so if you're picking up wood you're gonna have the wood here if you pick up a key you know you're gonna have a key here and so on anyway that is pretty much everything for this video I hope you have enjoyed it I will see you next time goodbye